Hey guys, fixing to do another shooting video. Right now I have a Remington Woodsmaster Model 742 280 Remington. I'm going to be shooting my clear ballistics ballistic gel. Now I actually have a shoulder blade that came off of a doe my brother-in-law killed. I'm going to put that, or I have that in front of the ballistics gel. So I'm going to try to shoot through the shoulder blade into the gel. Now I did just get it through shooting that gel with the 22 long rifle right there. So hopefully I can shoot a little bit to the side and not put that 280 through the same hole. The ammunition that I'm going to be using is this Remington core lock tipped, green tipped. It's 140 grain. So this gun again, Remington Woods Master Model 742, it's an older gun. The scope that is on it, I believe, is a Bushnell scope. It's just the scope that came on the gun. The mounts came on the gun, and it's been a pretty decent scope for what it is, a 3 by 9 And I'm going to be shooting from this distance back here about 10 yards away. Now another thing that I'm trying that's different, as you can see, I have that ratchet strap holding that block on. I am afraid it'll knock that barrel over. So I've got a two by four propped up against the barrel. I'm hoping it doesn't fall over and get my block all dirty, but I'm gonna have to shoot it and see what happens. Well, obviously my strap didn't work, but that uh, shoulder blade ended up closer to me than it was the barrel. Let me take some steps. Two, about three yards away from where I am. See where that bullet went through. See how thick it is on this side. So right into the, the shoulder blade there. And here's the ballistic gel on the ground of course that bullet shot all the way through it that's 20 inch block of ballistic gel there right there is where the bullet entered the ballistic gel you see just a, a small hole there look at it from the side you can already see though you're getting a little bit of expansion already of course that's after it went through the shoulder blade Stuck the um, tape measure to the side where you can get an idea of the expansion right there. Looks like it's about almost three quarters of an inch. Again, like I say, after the, uh, after going through that shoulder blade. But you can also tell that it still expands and gets wider through here. Uh, it looks like, let's see if I can tell, inch and three quarters maybe. You can also see little pieces of copper up there. Piece of meat, some meat and stuff right in there. And then the expansion channel there really starts to consolidate right around 14 inches. Editing that video, I could see that bullet fly out of there slowly, so I went back out there and got it. And see how big it is compared to a dime. Feels like you got pretty good mass retention there as well. Well, since I already have my block out here, I'm gonna have to clean it up and remelt it anyways. I might as well shoot it with a 223. I guess what I'll try to do is you can see this end's kinda tore up, but put the block around, maybe try to put a round through there. See how much penetration we get with the 223, and I'll set that shoulder blade up and Try to shoot through it again. Gonna be shooting from the same distance back here. My gun is the Ruger American Ranch, 556 and 8 over 223. Uh, 
All right, again, I wanted to just shoot it with a 223 to kind of have a, a comparison of the two rounds. The results you can see, not nearly as dramatic. Um, looking at the shoulder blade, you can see, I don't know which shot is which, but both, both rounds, you can see the light kind of shining through the shoulder blade. You can tell that it was a thin part of that bone for both rounds there. So this block has actually been shot three times. You can see where the uh, 22 long rifle hit. That was a subsonic round. It was shot from this direction. It went in, I believe that was about 10 inches. Um, the 280 went in through here, went all the way through the block, and that was getting shot through the shoulder blade. And then the 223 went and it lodged. I'm gonna measure how far it went in. And measuring from the top, Went in about 17 inches. Now, I didn't set out to make this video about that Federal Fusion ammo, but I've been happy with the way the Federal Fusion does as far as penetration and stuff in this ballistic gel. Um, I feel like compared to the other ammo I shot, the stretch cavity is about the same for the 223. Obviously, you can see that's a little bit wider for the 280. And the, this is the 223 I'm measuring right here. You can tell that expansion cavity starts consolidating around 10 or 11 inches. Here's a look at that Federal Fusion round. It looks like, looks like just by looking at it, there's a fair amount of mass retained there. So again, that Federal Fusion looks like a pretty good round. And just one last look at these expansion cavities. You got the 223 right there and the 280 right there. Get a look at the back of these boxes of ammo. Looks like the velocity is actually pretty similar. The 223, 62 grain, you got 3,000 foot per second. Remington core lock, we got 3,020 foot per second but you've got a 140 grain bullet compared to a 62 grain. Now I have killed, I've never killed a deer with the core locked green tilt, but I've killed deer with the 280 and the 223. I don't really know if that ballistic gel is really gonna give you an idea of what it's gonna do, you know, if you're deer hunting. Um, I feel like the 280 is just pretty devastating to a deer. However, the 223 will also get the job done if you place the bullet where it needs to go. Well guys, I really wanted to just see, you know, what this 280 would look like after shooting through the shoulder blade into the ballistic gel. Um, I was able to compare it to the 223 as well. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.